Highly requested fucking video. Why is this shape like that? Whoa. Whoa. What? Look at the skinniest shape. Now, someone who has big lips like you and I. Okay. Okay, hi guys. So today I'm just um, basically gonna show you guys how I straighten my hair and everything. So my hair is obviously straightened right now, but in a few days I'm gonna have to wash it and re-straighten it. I don't always keep my hair straight I wear my hair natural. Every time it's natural, I keep it slicked back just because it's a lot. If you know, if you have curly hair, you know what I'm talking about. But you guys really wanted a hair straightening tutorial. So in a few days, I'm gonna actually be straightening my hair. So this is gonna be like a different day vlog or different day, like not the same day tutorial because my hair is straight and I do have to be somewhere tomorrow. So I cannot actually do these steps and I so I can't actually do these steps and um, just like do my hair tomorrow and like just do in the process um, that I would usually do. So I'm going to head to Target and Sephora to pick up the products. <laughs> what the fuck are you looking at? So we have Lamonte aka LK Lancer on the Ox. He's about to DJ us some, some stuff. So let's just hear it. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Mm. Out the car, like hop out the car. Where is Shea Moisture? So now we're in the hair care aisle, and this is where Shea Moisture is. Shea Moisture is a really good brand because there are no sulfates, no parabens, no animal testing, no phthalates, no mineral oil, no pitch or whatever that says and you can get a little pack just in case. I used to use these until I realized that they literally have jars full of a mask. So this is what I get, it's $11.99, it's worth it. You can deep condition your hair about three times with it. And this is what the fuck I use. Are you looking for Vaseline or are you looking for a Burt's Bees chapstick? Um, either or. Okay, you're getting a little tall. You're getting a little tall, not as you tall as Vance. So are you twins? No. Brother and sister. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are both beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I have to use my back camera because I noticed in the other vlog, my last vlog, I it was like there was like a glare because there's a crack in my screen. The front camera is a little cracked, so <laughs> look how weird I look just doing this. Hey, confirm. <clears throat> I'm, I literally almost forgot this. Oh, <gasps> We're gonna do a quick little pineapple and tahini break. You know, you don't need pineapple. Huh? Well, you're not supposed to eat pineapple. Fun fact, you're not supposed to eat pineapples on a empty stomach because they're acidic. So if you just like completely just eat a bunch of pineapples and your stomach's empty, like mine is right now, then you will fucking die. Okay, jump on the jet, okay, but I'm not talking Okay, so now we're in Sephora and I'm just looking for the last product that I use. I only use two products and last one was $11.99 and this one is maybe around $30. So it is by Olaplex. The Olaplex is what they use in hair salons when you go to get your hair bleached. And what the, what the Olaplex fucking does, okay, I just messed up. When you go to get your hair bleached at the hair salon, the bleach breaks down the bonds in your hair and the Olaplex builds the bonds as the bonds are being broken so your hair really isn't that much damage so that's what um, I use in my hair before I straighten it because the straightener builds breaks down the bonds so I just strengthen my hair and build up as much bonds as I can before I go and straighten it so I'm going to show you what the product is right now. Thank you. Okay, so now we're just in Tender Greens eating lunch. Tell them what you got. Is 
Sounds good, you know. Um, we just came with Santa Greens. We got some salmon, kale, and brown rice, and he copied my exact order. So we're just gonna be eating here. We got some water because we didn't want to pay for drinks. So yeah, see you at fucking home. Okay, hi guys. So today I'm just gonna be showing you what products I use in my hair before I straighten it. So right now I'm gonna be using, I just got off the shower by the way, and I'm gonna be putting a hair mask in it and the Olaplex number three, and I'm just gonna show you what I do. So I just got off the shower and then put an outfit on and my makeup. So what I do is I'll go in and okay. What I use is, it's like coming off, is I'll use the top of the jar and just take a little bit on the top like this. Looks kind of gross. It's really, really thick, so I suggest your hair is damp or wet. Mine's kind of damp because I just got out the shower and had a towel around it while I was doing my makeup. And then, one second. And then after I get the hair mask, I use the Olaplex number three and I poured in. The Olaplex is really thin and the mask is, which is brown, is really, really thick. So they go perfect together and the Olaplex really makes it thinner. So if you don't want a really thick, pasty feeling mask in your hair, I advise that your hair is damp like mine. So I'll just go and put this all over my hair, especially the ends and at the top of my hair. <laughs> and I did this last night, so this is kind of a, just a demonstration, so I'm not going to put too much in my hair. Um, but I'm still going to show you guys how I do this, and I'm going to go rinse it out, then blow dry my hair and straighten it and show you guys how to do that. So, And then all of it's pretty much gone off the cap, so if you need more, you just do the same process. So you just take the hair mask and put it in the cap. And then use Olaplex, which I just got and it's literally already gone. And then just mix it together until it's really, really thin. I know it looks really messy. And then I just put it in my hair. That's literally all I do. I don't use heat protectant. I don't really do anything. Okay. This is falling all over me. And the good thing about this is, as you can see, when I'm starting to brush it back and rub it in, it kind of goes away. So if you really want to, what I do is I leave it in for a day and I sleep in it. So you can literally just slick your hair back and then walk around and do errands and do whatever you need to do throughout the day while your hair is literally just being treated and strengthen the Shea Moisture. I forgot to explain. It's a strengthen and restore treatment mask with shea butter, peppermint, apple cider vinegar. Okay, I fucking messed up. <clears throat> it's a Jama- Shut the- And I'll put it at the ends of my hair. Until I feel like it's enough to treat my hair. And just basically brush it back into a little low bun. So then I just slick it back in a bun. And what I did yesterday, because I did do this exact same thing to my hair yesterday before I washed it this morning, is I just kept it like this, went to the store, just did regular shit, and yeah. It's actually really, really simple. I didn't know that it would be that quick for me to explain. So that's why I actually did in the beginning put like a little vlog of me and my brother going to the store. Because it's actually really, really simple. So, yeah. Just look your hair back and do what you need to do. But right now, I'm going to go and rinse it out and show you guys how I blow dry and straighten my hair. Okay, so I just want to go rinse my hair out. So now it's just really damp and really, really wet. I... This has nothing to do with anything, but I did get a new blush, and I really, really love the way it looks on camera. So if you guys do want another 
makeup tutorial because I always update my makeup all the time. I literally use, I'm using different stuff for my eyebrows now because I went on a Sephora little haul or whatever and I just got new makeup. So if you want to see that, just let me know. But anyways, I'm going to go blow dry my hair. Ooh, okay. Okay, so for blow drying, I advise that you get a blow dryer with a comb on it because it just makes things way much more easier and it just is easy once you get your hair it's kind of tangled right now but once you get all the knots out it's just so simple to, sh to just blow dry your hair this is from any beauty supply store it's 2000 ceramic ionic red by kiss and it's, it was like 20 dollars. it's like really really cheap and it's super good so yeah what i do is i just part my hair literally in the middle from here to here and just let this hair down so I kind of just suction my hair it's just really tangled and it hurts but I just like suction any part of my hair it doesn't need to be perfect and I just let it down and then I start blow drying it okay so you basically just want to straighten your hair it's still a little bit damp but it's pretty much dry um, you just want to straighten your hair until it kind of almost looks straight, like frizzy straight. And this is why that blow dryer is really good because it does have combs in it to heat it while it's brushing it and just make it so much more easier to straighten it. So yeah, my hair is going to look really crazy by the end of this, so don't judge me. But after I do the back part, I let this part down and then I just split my hair in the middle. And then I blow dry it from this side to this side. So, yeah. Ah! Oh my God. Now my hair is dry and um, I look like a lion. So after it's dry, I just part a really small Section. Okay, that didn't work. A really small section back here. My hair looks so puffy. And oh my gosh, this is hard. And then I put my hair up like that. And my hair looks really frizzy and bad. And yeah, so the secret, my secret is just that. While I'm blow drying my hair, I keep the flat iron plugged in in the second outlet so I can just, instead of waiting for it to heat up, it's already ready to use. So, yeah, so I take a small piece. Okay. Okay. So I just take a small piece and start from the roots and just go down. Literally, that's it. And I do this once. I do one pass instead of doing two because one, you don't need to do two passes. And three... It's just bad for your hair, so I always go down once. <laughs> Even though I said to do it once, I literally did it. But if I see like some pieces still curly, I go over it. Like what the fuck is this? And then you just repeat the same steps over until all of your hair is, my hair looks crazy. And then just take, I honestly use my nails. My sister uses a comb and like parts her hair perfectly, but I'm just a really impatient person. So that just doesn't happen. And then again, just pick up the curly part or the straight part, cause it's pretty frizzy and already straight depending on the blow dryer that you use. And ow, that kind of hurt. And I just go down once again. And then it's straight. Then I flip it back and then come to the middle. And then go down once. Depending on how good you blow dry your hair um, determines whether or not it's going to be like if it's going to be easy to straighten your hair. Like right now, it's pretty easy. And then I put it back.
Come hurry. Everyone say hi. <laughs> okay, back. Okay, so I'm done and I'm actually really happy. I wasn't planning on straightening my hair again for a while because I wanted to grow out and just be kind of healthy. But this was kind of happy. I had a reason to. But I am done. And if you guys have any other suggestions on what I should do for a video, let me know because it's actually really fun showing you guys or letting you guys know what whatever the case may be, and I'll just show you how to do it. So just comment below, and thanks for watching. Also, I hope, okay. Also, I hope this was helpful. And sitting like this is making me think that I wanna dye my hair dark and I've been saying this but I really want to go dark again because I don't like this color anymore but yeah bye